friends and welcome back. I am Patty Ohoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. That book is available on my website along with the supplies and the link will be listed below. And I thought we would take this dark glass bottle and turn it into this shabby chic bottle complete with the crackle finish that you see on here. And I will even show you how to make these pretty little butterflies, which you can use in a bunch of different crafts, not just for your decoupage. <laughs> and I will show you how we can get that started. So you may want to put some wax paper down here. This can get very sticky. And I put the wax paper down, and then I took my dark glass bottle, and I applied this white craft glue. This is Elmer's glue all, but you can find these craft glues all over the place now since it's back to school time. And I put a very thick coating of this with my paintbrush on one half of the bottle. You just want to work on one half of the bottle at a time for this step. Now you want to make sure you don't do this too lightly. You want a nice thick coating of this glue over the bottle. While the glue is still wet, you want to take a pouncer brush and chalk paint and pounce the chalk paint over top of that glue. Now it's important that the glue is still wet. You want to put the chalk paint only over the area where you just ap applied the glue. And I have found that you do want to use a pouncer brush. You don't want to paint this on because you won't get the same effect. And cover this whole area where you just applied the glue. And while the bottle is still wet, so immediately after you put that chalk paint on, you're going to take your regular household blow dryer and put it on high and blow this dry. Now, if you're using acrylic paint, sometimes this will bubble up, so that's why you want to go with the chalk paint. What's happening is the chalk paint is drying a lot faster than that glue underneath, so it's causing these cracks to form. And by the way, make sure you have some hot soapy water handy to put your other brushes in. You don't want the glue to get stuck or tacky at all on your pouncer brush or your other brush. And now I'm going to go over to the opposite side of the bottle and do this same step. Now while this bottle is, I'm going to sit it aside to dry, while it's drying, I am going to take a measurement here because I want to frame the decoupage that I'm going to put in the center. So this isn't complicated, I just measured a little bit here. And then I went over to the graphics fairy and I printed out an oval silhouette. I think I just did a search for oval, but if you do oval or silhouette, you'll get this image that comes up. And I just printed it out because I wanted to use this as a template. And I'll show you how I used it. And to clarify, this bottle already feels dry. I just mean the glue underneath may need to dry out a little more. So here's the silhouette that I printed out. Now I'm just I'm cutting it out, and I'm going to cut out the exact shape because this is the template that I want to use over the bottle. So instead of decoupaging the whole bottle, I'm just going to put 
a little bit a, a little bit of my napkin right here in the center and that's because I still want to see a lot of that crackle finish so once I cut this out I placed it over the prettiest part of my napkin the part that I wanted to cut out and showcase as the front of the bottle and I'm using a watercolor pencil to go around the outline here and then I'm taking my curved decoupage scissors and I'm just going to cut this napkin out. You don't want to separate the napkin until after you're done cutting it. And once you're all done cutting that out, just dampen your fingertips a little bit and pull the napkin apart. And we're going to apply some decoupage glue over the area where we're going to put the napkin down. Take some saran wrap and pull it tightly across that bottle so that it really gets that napkin flat against your surface. Put this aside to dry and now I'm taking a plain old paper towel with no design on it and I'm covering it with decoupage glue. I'm painting it on and I'm going to put this aside to dry. You can put it in an oven at 170 degrees over parchment paper for about 15 minutes. That's uh, Fahrenheit, by the way. So separate your napkin, then you place it over the paper, have a little trouble separating that, place it over that piece of now dry paper towel, fold the parchment paper over it, and you want to iron that napkin onto that paper towel. You can use a regular iron for this, I'm just not sure what temperature. And with this craft iron, which is also available on my website, you can put it on the highest setting and iron the napkin down. And make sure you don't miss any spots on that surface. Now I took the napkin outside and I used a high gloss spray over the top of it and I added a little bit of glitter. You can use the triple thick, you can use any high gloss spray, and I'm going to add just a little bit of this micro fine glitter over the top of it while the top coat is still wet. You don't have to do that, I just love a little glitter. And once these dried, I used these butterfly punches. These are by a company called EK Tools. And these will be on my website. If you go over to my website, which goes through Amazon, and that means if you have Prime, you get all the same features. And I punched a few larger butterflies and a few smaller ones. The smaller punch, I just love. It's called the EK Tools Layering Paper Punch because it's got three separate punches on it. And by the way, I used a tea dye on, I used real tea. I spilled a whole cup of iced tea. It was unsweetened, so I mopped it up with this paper towel, put it in the oven, and when it came out, it had this lovely tea stain. And here's how these charming little butterflies came out. While I was working on those butterflies, I went back to the bottle and I applied one more coat of decoupage glue not only over the napkin, but I covered the whole bottle just to keep it all consistent looking. And I'm going for a matte finish here, so I wanted to make sure I used a matte decoupage glue. And once that whole coat of decoupage glue dried, I took that same template and I put it right over this section where I decoupaged our napkin. So it's, it's the same exact shape. And what I did was I put double-sided tape on the back of this. And I just carefully placed it down. You don't want to press it down too hard, although it shouldn't pull away any of your work since you've added that second layer of decoupage glue. And I used these liquid pearls all around the outside. So I put little dots because I want to make a little bit of a frame going all around the napkin where I decoupaged. So I just put dots all around the outside of this. And you can find liquid pearls on my website. The colors are just beautiful that they've come up with. You want to find a color that best matches your napkin. Now I'm going over some of the lighter spots inside the butterflies and I'm going to highlight these. And I also did this around the flower in the center that I decoupaged onto the bottle. 
So you can see this gives a beautiful glowing three-dimensional effect. I used to work with stained glass and it's surprising how much this really looks like the beautiful solder that you use to hold the glass together. A lot of times when you see it, it's, it's got copper foil on it, but this is just what the solder looks like and it's quite beautiful. But back to our project. I'm going to put these aside to dry and this does take about, I put it aside for about an hour. I wanted to make sure it was completely dry. I then pulled away this template that I used and it's okay to rip it because you can always go back to the graphics fairy and get it for free and start all over again if you need to use that. So once I pulled this away, I added the liquid pearls all around the rose in here and I put this aside to dry and you want to make sure your bottle does not roll you can flatten out the three-dimensional effect and you don't want that so I'm just going to add some highlights around here and put a couple of things along the side of this bottle so that it doesn't roll around and I'm going to let it dry for about an hour when it was dry I came back in with some E6000 glue and some lace that matched the bottle and I put it up around the neck of the bottle. I then tied a bow with a nice thin little pink ribbon. By the way, I don't know if you can see around the top up there, I added some of the perfect pearls around there also. And after I made my bow, I added one of our larger butterflies up to the top there. And you can use hot glue for this, by the way. I just am in the habit of using E6000 for everything. And I put it right over our bow in the center. And I added two other butterflies to the base. I was just following the decorating guidelines that say when you use uneven numbers, three, five, seven, nine it's much more appealing to the eye than if you use uh, an even set of anything. So there's three butterflies on here and here is how our bottle turned out. Now I wanted to show you that the one of the butterflies kind of disappears into the bottle which I didn't want. You can see the one up on top here with the bow really stands out and there's our lace, our butterfly. You can see the perfect pearls on there, the pink bow. Now the crackle on the bottle. You can see the one butterfly there to the left and to the right, we're just about coming down to, you can see the third three-dimensional butterfly, but not very well. So I probably should have placed that in a better place. But here is how our project looks for this week, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for subscribing. It helps me to keep making videos every week, as well as when you go through my new website and shop on my site, which does go through Amazon. So uh, ask me any questions that you would like. It is taking me so long to get back to you. I apologize for that, but I love hearing all of your beautiful comments and compliments. I love hearing from you in other countries. I try to understand with a translator exactly what you're saying, so feel free to ask me any questions and I'll help you guys out too. All right, my friends, I will see you next week with another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.